The overall goal of these procedures is to use synthetically engineered E. coli to control and manipulate programmable material surfaces by combining genetic modification and surface functionalization strategies. This method can help answer key questions in fields such as molecular medicine and environmental monitoring by using genetically programmed cells to interpret a local environment and modify a functionalized material accordingly, we are providing a modular tool for a wide variety of applications. The main advantage of this technique is that living cells are able to act as dynamic sensors capable of reading, processing, and recording the conditions around them via functionalized interfaces. After preparing solutions and collecting the biotin-enriched supernatant from biotin-producing E. coli according to the text protocol, add 1.4 microliters of SPDP solution to 20 microliters of streptavidin or SA solution. Wrap the tube in aluminum foil and incubate it at room temperature for one and a half hours to allow the SPDP crosslinker to bond to SA via an amino group, forming a pyrital dithioactivated SA. Following the incubation, add 2.4 microliters of DTT solution to the tube and incubate the sample at room temperature for one hour to allow a pyridine 2 thione cleavage resulting in a sulfhydryl activated SA. Next, add 7.5 microliters of SCC solution to 72 microliters of HRP solution, wrap it in aluminum foil, and incubate it at room temperature for one and a half hours. This results in a malleamide-activated HRP bound by an amino group. Mix 17 microliters of LC-LC biotin solution with 200 microliters of BSA solution, wrap the tube in foil, and incubate the sample.